In my opinion, Kai Green in his prime was one of the most impressive bodybuilders I have ever seen. However, he never won the Mr. Olympia title because he was competing against another all-time best Phil Heath and he didn't stay in the picture long enough for his turn to come, like Jay Cutler did, for example. After he lost a third consecutive time to Phil Heath, at the 2014 Mr. Olympia, he basically retired from the sport. He briefly came back in 2016 for the Arnold Classic, and that was the last time we ever saw him on stage competing. His best shape ever was at the 2012 Mr. Olympia, where he pushed Phil to the max at his first Mr. Olympia title defense. The last time we saw Kai on the Olympia stage was in 2014, as mentioned, and 10 years later Samson Dauda is your new Mr. Olympia, the sixth different winner in 7 years since Phil Heath's reign ended in 2018. In this video, we're comparing Kai Green's prime physique from 2012 to Samson Dauda's 2024 Mr. Olympia winning physique to see what we get. Front double biceps and we can clearly see the contrasting qualities of these two poses. Samson is a more towering bodybuilder. I think he's the tallest Mr. Olympia ever after Arnold. He's up there with Lee Haney, I don't know. These heights are pretty ambiguous with bodybuilders. But anyway, Samson is taller and more aesthetic looking overall with a smaller waist and better flow but don't make any mistake about it. He's massive as well. He's the heaviest Mr. Olympia of all time after all. Kai Green on the other hand, being a more compact bodybuilder compensates with a denser look. Some of the most impressive bicep peaks of all time, arguably the lowest lat insertions as well and a very complete lower body with incredible quads complemented by outstanding calves. The only thing you can take away from Kai here are the forearms and maybe the midsection but I would argue in 2012 his midsection was actually great. It was still pretty tight and even though in this front double he doesn't have a vacuum nor flexed abs, for this execution he's pulling here, he looks pretty aesthetic overall. All in all, I prefer Kai's look in this pose overall, so my first point goes to him. The front lat spread is a strong pose for both of them as they have wide structures. They look pretty different in this pose. Samson is way more arm dominant and he also dominates in the shoulders. On the other hand, Kai dominates with the lats. He actually wins big when it comes to the lats here. His great lats with those incredibly low insertions coupled with his long skinnier arms that make room for those incredible lats to be displayed are a perfect combo for this pose. Lower body Samson arguably has the best quads today, but back then Kai held that title so no advantages here for Samson either. It could be argued that Samson's overall stance and presentation look a bit better in certain aspects, like the way he's holding his legs or the fact that Kai awkwardly holds his chin down like that, but overall I'm going to have to go with Kai Green again because he's winning the essential aspects of this pose. Side chest pose is next and before we trash Kai Green for his awful execution, we've got to acknowledge that side leg first. That is arguably the most impressive and complete overall lower body from the side I've ever seen. Those feathered quads and those incredible hanging hamstrings are second to none. It's true he doesn't have the best glute details or tie-in, but he compensates with the best calves from the side. I used to use his calves in the side poses when building the best bodybuilders in the past using different body parts. So yeah, Kai definitely has the lower body in this comparison against Samson, at least from the side, but when it comes to the upper body here, Kai does himself a big disservice. He awkwardly arches his back and pushes his chest forward, he's sloppy with the midsection and he also squeezes down, looking like he's trying to appear as small as possible in this pose. It's too bad because that chest looks really good. It has the roundness and he destroys Samson with those outer peg details but Samson Dauda dominates the shoulders and arms again big time. His chest is huge, looks like it's hanging from his clavicles and he also has proper execution. Overall this pose goes to your 2024 Mr. Olympia. Back double biceps and if you still doubted Kai Green, here's your proof. 
Now, let's get one thing straight first. He does have underwhelming forearms, but he makes sure he poses around this issue decently here. And yes, he also has smaller traps, which is more visible when you compare this aspect to Samson. But even though his traps look small in comparison to others, I believe they flow well in this pose with the rest of his back muscles. His lats are wide and attach all the way down. And besides that, he has the best muscle density and separation in the lower lat region since Lee Haney. Kai probably loses the shoulders again to Samson, but his peaky biceps and striated triceps make up for it. Lower body Kai dominates with some incredible quad sweeps, some of the best hamstrings of all time and complete calves. His least impressive muscle group in the lower body is the glutes, but they're still dry here. All in all, he overshadows Samson's lower body. He has the better back, even though he's lacking in certain areas, his peaky biceps make this pose even more impressive, so overall we have another Kai Green win. Samson improved his back drastically at this show, but all in all, he needs more back to go head to head with Kai here. The back lat spread is always different when it comes to Kai Green. Even though his lats are wide, round and thick all the way down, the traps are basically non-existent from a depth and detail point of view. Now, his back has always looked similar to what we see here in the compulsories, but when he hit this shot in the finals individual routine, he pulled out something outstanding, he focused less on spreading the lats and instead flexed his inner back, resulting in what is, in my estimation, the best I've ever seen Kai look in the back lat spread. I don't know how I should judge this, but let's take a look at Samson. Due to his larger overall frame and his better shoulders, Samson wins the overall width here. He also wins in the upper traps big time and has a better V taper. But I still think this is one of his weaker poses. He needs more back muscles overall. I believe Kai Green beats him in the lower body, as already established, and when it comes to the back, if we're considering Kai's finals execution, I think the back lat spread goes to him as well. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Side triceps and Kai Green comes back again with that incredible side leg and this time, unlike in the side chest, he holds the pose decently. I've always liked his highly detailed triceps in this pose, but they were pretty thin. If you look at Samson's meaty lateral head, Though not as straighted, it's probably three times thicker. Samson Dauda also has a much more beautiful execution. His chest and abs look better and his legs look decent too. Unlike Tyler Mannion, I'm a big fan of this execution from Samson. I think it suits his physique perfectly. It's the best I've seen him in this pose for sure. So Samson wins the second side pose in this matchup. Abs and thighs, and if we only saw their silhouettes, this would be 100% a Samson Dauda pose. He has a better X frame, a smaller waist is taller, and his pose flows better overall. But when we look at the details of this pose, like the abs, Kai Green is superior with a better six pack. Kai's lats are also very impressive. They attach somewhere at the level of his belly button, which is crazy. Downstairs, Kai also has those incredible feathered quads. Kai was beating everybody in his era when it came to the lower body, even Phil Heath. All in all, I think Kai Green should take this pose against Samson Dauda. Last pose is the most muscular, another underwhelming pose for Kai because of his thinner outer arms and not so impressive shoulders. Kai really lacked the thickness in this pose especially since he was going against Phil Heath. But other than that, he has a great chest, a decent midsection, and some of the best wheels of all time. But Samson destroys him with upper body thickness, with those cannonball shoulders and massive chest. The crab variation is an even weaker pose for Kai Green, where his shoulders literally disappear, his thin triceps don't help either, and those short-headed biceps, even though they look great in the front double, take away from the overall thickness needed in this pose. Overall, your favorite most muscular pose goes to Samson Dauda. Kai wins this comparison 5-3. He lost the side poses and the most muscular against Samson, poses where overall upper body thickness is needed and where Kai lacked.
But other than that, Kai Green proved in this comparison why he is one of the greatest of the modern era. He's unstoppable in the front double biceps with his overall flow and crazy biceps peaks, very strong and underrated in the front lat spread and from the back, he's one of the best of all time, top 5 for sure. He also won the abs and thighs in this comparison mostly because Samson couldn't actually bring decent abs to the table and his strong quads were matched and surpassed by the Predator. Even though Kai is not a Mr. Olympia winner, for me, he's one of the top 5 bodybuilding physiques of the modern era, one of the most underrated athletes and one of my personal favorite physiques of all time. What do you guys think about this comparison? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the like button for the algorithm and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my new uploads. See you next time.